Hello and welcome. It's me. In me, you know. At least I hope you do. It's Joy. It's Joy Ruffin coming to you from the Sunshine State. My friends, this week it's going to be all about learning to get to know who you are. So we're going to talk today about self-confidence. As most of you know, my work with young juvenile delinquent girls, they're constantly asking, how do you get to be confident? How do you, how do you, how are you so confident? Why are you so confident? Well, in point of fact, you know, as most of us do, that it really is first off about getting to know who you are. And the getting to know is just the beginning step. Because after you or while you're in the process of getting to know who you are, it really is about learning to manage your emotions. Because most of us who had a troubling childhood, one of our main responsibilities here in adulthood lifestyle is to be able to manage our emotions. Because of our wounds, we are here to heal the wounds that were put into place in our, in our childhood. That's one of the main reasons of becoming an adult. Because when you meet an adult who just keeps hanging on to and massaging and absolutely embracing in a positive way all of the wounds that they come into adulthood with, after a short time, you do not want to spend much time around and with that person. So your responsibility, if you're on the road to being as confident and self-confident as you can be, is to learn to manage your emotions. That's not to say to put them on the back burner, to hide them, to bury them. No, it's learning how to manage them and not even control. Manage and control are two different entities. And then you can begin to heal the wounds that you came into adulthood with. So one of the main steps in learning to manage your wounds from childhood is getting to know yourself. Any and every tool that's a positive tool that you can use, then embrace it. Because knowing who you are is just the beginning step to knowing and having self-confidence, which is what you want. Because no matter what you're doing, sooner or later that permeates outward and people can see it, they sense it, they know it. So embrace getting to know you, and that is your first beginning step to learning how to manage your own sense of self-confidence. Lots of food for thought. Sometimes it might seem a little tri trivial and elementary, but trust my friend, it all begins as most everything does with you. So until the next time, you be well and take care of yourself first and then each other and know that I'll be back with you again soon. Until then, be well. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.